quite fun little models that I've purchased. One, a tiger, because I couldn't find a lion. This particular tiger is pregnant, and you can see that there. It's got two little baby tigers, which of course is completely ridiculous, but it's quite fun anyway. And most importantly, however, is the structure of it in comparison with Connor here. Now this is Connor. Connor, uh, I have named after our tech person, Connor, who is now in Kenya trying to fix things and he can't sort of beat me up for calling me, calling my skeleton after him. So that's Connor over there. He's a bit sort of floppy really. But what's interesting here is the structure, I think, of the bones. And I've always gone on about how our bones are actually exactly the same as just about all the other mammals when we have equivalent bones in our bodies. So I thought we'd look at the pelvis first. And there is the pelvis of the human being. You can see it there. That's half the pelvis. There is the femur, that's your thigh bone. There's the knee. And there are the, that's the fibula and the tibia. I think I've got them, no, tibia and fibula. And those two, of course, make up the leg of the human being. Now look at the difference between the tiger and the human being. Now they're not quite, they're probably, yeah, you know, they're almost to scale. These are almost to scale. But the structure is completely different on the tiger. And the tiger's leg is structurally, well, it's much heavier in the pelvis. And the pelvis doesn't extend downwards like that because the pel the tiger doesn't stand on all uh, on two feet. It stands on four feet. And so that shifts around to that angle like that. And then we have the femur, which is a much shorter, stockier bone than it is in the human being. And then the tibia and fibula, likewise, shorter and stockier. They've joined them in this, in this model. And then, if we go away from here, and unfortunately my tiger doesn't have all of the bones here, but if you look at the foot, often you think of the tiger's knee being back here. Sorry, you can't see it there, there, which it is not, it's up here. So if we put this back in here like it's supposed to be, and I think this is quite fascinating, I'm sorry if you don't, but uh, maybe you do. There is the knee joint where it joins the belly. So that's the knee joint there, so there's the human equivalent, if you like. Lope coming out and feeding together in the clearings like this, and again, it's because it's not.